We are loading up on the map Circuit Breaker. It is not your typical uh, macro sort of map. Um, you do have your pretty standard natural, and then you do have a close by mineral third. Relatively hold, hard to hold on. Uh, so Zergs like to take thirds if they can, or even far thirds can sometimes happen. To just get that gas income that's so critical for Zerg. Alright, let me set everything up. Uh, crazy game heart interface. No, Beastie doesn't. Beastie's not one up. Alright, at the top right, we have Beastie Cutie and the yellow Terran pieces. And at the bottom left, we have Axiom Impact, our purple Zerg. I woke up crazy early for this. I am in a 6 a.m. to wake up for tournament. I really commend you for that. Uh, I am back now, but I'm actually. This is the time where I'm going to have to leave you, December's Comp, to cast for yourself. <gasps> for that, I am sorry. Uh, Traitor! <laughs> I've spoken to Total Biscuit. Total Biscuit will be contacting you whenever he has time to cast with you. Awesome. So we're going to be solo casting for a little bit until Total Biscuit can get with us and cast. Uh, I'll try and stay active in chat and in game and in Twitch and stuff like that. So to. As to help you with maps and things like that. Oh God, I'm. How am I gonna know if he contacts me? <laughs> uh, Skype. Yeah, but I'm I'm set to busy. Oh. Oh, well, you can don't set to busy. But then there's sounds every second. Bleep. No, you can you can turn off sound <laughs> notification on Skype. Okay. No worries. All right, Good get luck out of that. here. Okay. Take care. Good Fast luck. expand out of Beastie Cutie. Good old Rax, and wow, Impact, what is he doing? Is this a scout, or... Okay, that is going to be a scout, and these overlords... The overlords are never going to get to see anything anytime soon. Off Beastie Cutie's scout goes, and Impact straight into the gas. Uh, the speed links have been paying in dividends uh, this entire turning long. Links are pretty good, man. Oh, it's gonna be a wrong scout from Imp from Beastie at first. Impact's gonna see it. He knows the CC. Oh, 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 I hate you, drone. I'm actually gonna change. Uh, I don't like. I like selected. It's great stuff. So we can do that. Yes. Oh, chases the drone away. SCV should be fine. It's Impact. Impact. He's just going for the drone. <laughs> ballsy, ballsy drone. Bunker is going up. No third expand out of impact. He is just getting a little bit of macro. Ling speed is done, if, I, if I'm not mistaken. No, it's not. He hasn't started yet. He's got enough gas for it. He can actually drop gas at this point. No, he's going into Hydra Den. What on earth impact are you doing? Are you doing a Hydra bust against Terran? And Beastie, he, he is going in macro mode. He's got the double to orbital command centers. And something about this game is that uh, orbital command centers are not like always the best thing to do because they cost 150. They don't drop meals, they only drop SCVs, and you have to pay for those SCVs. So, a very long term focused uh, eco opener is what you can do with double OCs. But uh, this leaves you vulnerable to earlier pressures. So that's 150 minerals that you've spent into just this orbital command center that only drops SCVs every now and then. So I've got to be careful about that. Not quite like StarCraft 2 when it comes to that. Yeah, this is just two base Hydra. What on earth is going on? Quick lair. It's going to be some really fast lurker play. What on earth is going on? Yeah, fast lurkers, man. It is a thing, it can catch you unaware and kill you. But we do have a tank out, we have, okay, at this point, mm, if he spends all the energy on the double OCs, he's not going to have any for scan. He does have one saved up at his main. The slowest Overseer. Uh, overseers do get faster once you get your lair, and they get a little bit faster once you get your overlord speed. It's a little quirk. Um, but you can evolve overlords and to overseers at hatch tech 
So it's kind of like Brood War, how all overlords are detectors in Brood War. And this, you can make every overlord an overseer. So, double factory. It's a mech coming out of Beastie. Starport's on the way. Zerg takes his third. Mech's economy is pretty good at this point. He does scout. Ooh, what does he see? Does scout all of the tech with that overseer. So that overseer is well worth the investment. Sees the it's entirely mech oriented play from Beastie Cutie. And this lurker then, if there are just siege tanks who are sieged up, the fast lurker den might not pay off. We'll have to see. Would have been a lot better against if, if just luckily Beastie Cutie went bio opener. Alright, speed vultures are going to be on route relatively shortly. Uh, the tech for Ratty is coming up, so that's going to be his defense, Beastie Cutie's defense against mutas, which you are very vulnerable to mutas if you're going mech opener. Uh, that's one of your primary concerns if you're doing mech. <laughs> Impact's so hungry, yeah. He really wants to kill people. Getting a fourth base. Impact, oh man. So, so greedy. He needs to, well, to be fair, this is what you do against mech. You can just pump tons of hydras, have the economy to do it. Because mech is not going to be at your doorstep quite as fast as bio is going to be. Uh, he's build up his army, build up his army, then do a big death push, or take a third and then do death push. Vultures out in a boot. Finding what they can. He already had an SCV there, so I guess he's... No, he doesn't even have mines. He's just going to go in for some drones. Oh, he's going to get some, too. Uh, gets a few. Doesn't take too much losses on the vultures. Only some HP damage. Okay, cleans up. Oh, catches some transferring drones. Knows there's going to be a base over here. Oh, no, he can go in and just clear the drone line at this point. The hydras are not going to be able to get there in time. Oh, 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 oh. oh two drones get out alive. The luckiest two drones. And Beastie Cutie's vultures are already paying off so much. Uh, the fast four base play from Impact to try to get his uh, economy jump started did have its drawbacks. It was a little vulnerable to vultures. But uh, the few hydras he does have will ward off uh, that small count of vultures that Beastie Cutie is poking with. And, well, there's a lurker contained, but I mean, Beastie's mech, so it doesn't really matter. Unimportant, I say. <laughs> oh, hi, Overseer. <laughs> the meeting of the two detectors. How's it going? Ooh, lots of lines, but he's gonna be able to clear that up, no problem. Shouldn't lose any to these mines. There's a lot of mines, too. That's like that entire. Uh, Four vultures worth of mines. Hmm. Okay, Beastie Cutie. Got a handle. He's got a read. And uh, uh, towards the bottom right, he needs to be a little more active with these vultures down here. He's gonna actually. No, he could have denied that with the vultures. Ah. Oh. It's painful to see. There. Oh, there we go. There we go. Yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> tries to prop it up. <laughs> Ooh, get some more drones. Oh man, vultures are so good. So damn cost efficient. And in come the muta. How many mutas do we have on site? We have 16 mutas in play. This is only five of them. The rest are uh, en route and a bunch of hydras. So now it's all about uh, how if, if impact can make something happen against his opponent. <laughs> the overseer and the science hustler are talking today's news. 
in Core Hall today. Ooh, lots of mines. Okay, here's a detector. Man, that's a really long range on that detector. But he should be fine. That's a lot of tanks. And the mutas come in the back to the natural, and they're gonna go straight into the main. Oh, and there's no no turrets whatsoever to speak of. The science vessels exist, but with some good splitting, he can just keep. That's enough mutas that it doesn't really matter if he takes out two mutas to. Yeah. He's fine. Uh, big critical mass of Goliaths. I think the Muta should be able to take down the Goliaths, no problem. Eats another Ratty, so at least the Mutas are all weakened. I feel like those could actually take out this Goliaths. Gets out, does some damage. It's arguable to say how good that play was, I don't know. I feel like he could, do a, he could have done a lot more. Watch out, Vikings in this game do have splash damage. They're like a more agile Valkyrie from Rude War. Um, oh, it's another Irradiate. Oh, this Muta Clump is actually getting weakened up quite a bit. Oh man, he's lost so many Mutas. No longer 16 Mutas in play. Um, arguable, arguable to say that it was worth it. Finally, Impact takes the 6, and man, he is... Oh, God. This is the definition of Zeke Reed, is he just has tons and tons of bases really quickly. Oh! Oh, man, that was so close. Could have eaten a lot of mines right there. I just are actually really good against mines. Uh, A-moving them, if you have a large enough uh, count in both Brood War and Starbo. They just shoot the mines down really quick, where the goons take a lot longer to fire. Okay, okay. BC tr Cutie tries to find a hole with these vultures, and they get, are getting shut down at every turn with these hydras. Boom. Trying to find any opening he can to come back, and, I mean, the drone count is out of control at this point. He needs to do something. And, man, Impact's economy is looking great. 59 harvesters across many bases is a lot better than only three bases with the same amount of harvesters. And now Impact is taking, uh, he's got a harvester lead as well. So his economy is in great shape. Uh, what BCQ is going to do is he's going to build up his mech, because the bigger the mech ball gets, the stronger it is. And then he's going to make a push. Uh, but for now, he's kind of at the mercy of whatever sort of aggression Impact wants to do, because he keeps getting his harassment shut down. Um, really good that he got those Muta shut down, so that's great. He can, that opens up him him up to, like, drop play. So that's good. Aw, uh, now the... Now Impact's economy is so good that he's just putting spawns everywhere. Big army out of BC Cutie building up. And it's just so... Circuit Breaker is a really hard map to push. Um, the rush distance is a bit longer. Generally, this cross position makes it really hard for Mech to push. So he's just going to be doing this uh, around the map sort of expansion style, and then push once he's closer. Um, but he's got to watch out for Impact doing some like big drops into his main, hitting from multiple angles, uh, finding exposed weak points of BC Cutie's Mech, while he's doing this sort of turly take gobble up, gobble up more territory style. These mutas, man, they are still out and kicking. So many hydras, holy crap. Okay, yeah, they're... they're <laughs> hydras are a lot less supply than an SC2. So you can get a ton of them. Just an absolute absurd amount. Ah, oh, shit's on the vultures, no problem. The vultures do get some work done. So that's really good. He needs that. He needs to keep chipping away at the harvester count of his opponent uh, to stay in this game. Really helps out. Oh, ready? Please. Yay! Oh, sorry. I forgot the production tab. Oh, bigger ready. Yeah, that muta clump is gone. At this point, it's no longer a clump. It's a couple of mutas hanging out. It's a gaggle of mutas. What is that? A gaggle? It's for goose or something? Do, do, do. Oh, hold on, I gotta check. I gotta make sure I don't miss total biscuit, you know? Okay. 
<laughs> Just checking. I hear he is going to be joining me relatively soon. If he can. Oh, there's a mine. Yeah, Hydras are just so good against mines. Because they react faster in the Brood War as well. It's a lot harder to get caught by mines with the Hydras A moving. Oh, so many vultures. Ooh. Vulture's doing work now. The Hydras just can't keep up with the Speed Hydras. The mines are just keeping those Hydras from pursuing. All the links get cleaned up. Cleans up an entire drone line. He's down to 65 harvesters again. Uh, lots of workers killed. Of course, Impact keeps keeps on top of rebuilding them. But man, he's just clearing more up. Hydras are taking forever to get there and reinforce. Ooh, <laughs> greater spire. Oh no, he's gonna get a defiler. Oh no. Loses a single defiler. All right, finally the vultures get cleaned up. All right. Oh man, this is gonna be a scary, scary army from Impact. He's got Vipers, he's got Defilers in play. He's getting Ultra. Now he's sticking with, with Defiler Hydra Ling. That's awesome, Burst Mech. There goes down the minefield, and he's just gonna swing back here. Just eviscerate the drone line. Yeah, this is the usual BCT we're gonna see. Oh my god. <laughs> so many drones are dead. Oh, actually chip them all the way back down to 59 harvesters. And the lings, oh man. There's no mines here, so the lings actually got in, no problem. Mines didn't go off on the lings, I guess they... Ooh, crazy mines. Uh, you see, lings are... Mines are so good against lings. Oh my god. Entire ling group died. Luckily, they're just slings. Ooh, Lurker. Lurker Hydra. You need some defilers over there. Then you can just push in and, and just kill stuff and push them back. So if you if you take too long, if you sit back too long as mech, they're gonna have defilers, and if you're sitting in your base, you have nowhere to run once they start dark swarming. Then you get in a really scary spot. Alright, here comes the push, but here comes for the counterattack already put in place from impact. Those hydras no no, dude, you can you can actually make it Okay. Ooh, it's a couple casters, but I mean that is not your priority target. You really want to irradiate the filers. Cause that is impact's pushing power at that point. Both are really careful to make a really committed move right now. They're kind of filling each other out. And, yeah, you can actually get to 200, 200 in Sarbo if you kind of sit back. Um, but as you've seen, oh my god, what? <laughs> what was that? That was interesting. Oh, mines. They lost their target, so they went back to their home. Guardians in play. Generally, there's always a spot you can attack and, and take weakness of. A uh, Brood War idiom that I love. Always find a way to hurt your opponent. Generally, there is always a way to do that. It's, it's basically impossible to completely be safe against everything. And here it goes! There's a Lurkers under the Dark Swarm. Nerve Jammer was hampering the damage of that. Siege tanks are really loud. Oh man, how long can he keep up? This is like tiny little siege against this huge mech army with a single Dark Swarm and two, two Lurkers. And he just wants to deny this, this fourth base. Ooh, more mines got set up. Maybe they just not ever got activated. Man, BC Cutie, what does he do from here? It's gonna be really hard for him to push. Impact is not. He's dark swarming and putting down lurkers like right outside where the mech is. He does not want to give mech any space whatsoever. 
Last thing you want is mech having bases. Like, just split map scenario. It's really bad in Brood War. Tries to take his expansion. Tons of glides in play as part of his composition and a lot of tanks. Not so many vultures. Vultures have been mainly just been the hey, run around, kill drones guy. Ooh, runs into a lot of spines. It's not the base you want in Taras. Ah, he just can't get set up at his fourth. Oh no, and the lurker goes down as well. Denying his fourth base for forever. I've seen a mech switch a couple times. It is a lot trickier. It's just not an easy build to do. Uh, where the level of play for Starville players in general, like if you check out ladder and stuff, it's just not that high compared to something more refined like Brood War play and StarCraft 2 play. Because everything's just so different. Uh, oh, oh man, Impact takes out that fourth base. BCQ is not happy at this point. He is just going to be starved out if, if he can't take a fourth. Lots of Dark Swarm goes down. He does have a huge Science Vessel fleet at this point. Uh, he seems he seems ready, yeah. He can actually make a push here. Only uh, three Siege Tanks in the back. Oh, a little premature placement of that Dark Swarm. Oh no, that's going to get eviscerated. Especially with the activation of the Planetary. In Starbucks, you do have to activate it. It's it's a temporary thing. And it's got a long cooldown. Hmm. Ibix, Ibix Cannons. Ah, oh, the Defiler. Just a few units from Zerg are just making work of these mech positions that are just stagnant and static, where Dark Swarm is going to uh, chip you apart like that. Vultures get in a lot of places, actually. Man, how many worker skills? Up to 72 worker skills, so... BC Cutie's been on top of his vulture harassment, but... Impact has the economy to just keep repopping his rows. I keep looking over here because there's two yellow dots on the minimap. Ah, They're not actually things, they're just, they're just spider mines. Is he gonna kill this with vultures? No way. No, he's not. Wings are here. Boom! Ooh. Oh! Ho -ho! Plague on the science vessels! Plague is a defiler spell. It will take down the science vessel HP all the way down to one. So you can get a single muta or a single hydra to just pop those science vessels. Uh, so he immediately goes in for the mass repair. Does not want to lose them. Oh my god, here comes the huge engagement from Impact. Massive spread. No Dark Swarm! You just got a huge supply, a really nice flank. Tearing the mech army is all split apart. Dark Swarm goes down, and that is going to clinch the victory in that battle. How much further can he push? There's bridges here, which makes it a lot harder for the Zerg army to keep pursuing. Uh, but he does take this fourth for free now. Well, not for free. The loss of a great many Zerg units. And he's gonna get the base! Oh, that Ultra eats a mine. Oh no, that, that planetary fortress is not meant to be. Ooh. Ooh, he's coming in with, with some reinforcements. Oh, he might be able to save the fourth and get it up. Can he do it? Oh, eight kill Ultra. During that entire battle, he slipped. Of course, BDQ, Beastie Cutie manages to slip another Vulture into a draw line. Oh my god. Beastie Cutie holds on! He is still alive and kicking. The economy of impact is sick. He can just send waves and waves of lings at this point. Needs to work on his gas income. He is hurting for gas at this moment. He's got the faces to do so. He's got how many geysers? Tons. He needs to prop up this one. There we go. There's the ga that gas income. No, there are more Vultures! No! Please! My drone line, please! Don't do it! <laughs> oh! I didn't actually get him. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. Ling drop on the tank line. Oh, this is gonna be so annoying. 
cleans up some mods with healings. Whoa, 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 where are these guys going? I, I would think, like, drop here with links, and then you can clear out this space. Whoa, oh no, he's going for the main, and he probably has adrenal glands. Well, the vultures get there in time. Those are Terran's fast response units. And so, I mean, BCQD had like an hour to respond to that drop. It's kind of weird. Like, I would feel like, hey, it's scouted. Drop here. That is interesting. Oh, wow. BCQ is being really bold. He's got this huge minefield in the center. And this, this really wide flung tank line. Really wide flung. Ooh, this is kind of a weak spot, but it's protected a bit by this position being so strong. Uh, in the center. Eh, top, middle, eh. Wings could break this, in all honesty. Oh my god, it never ends! 112 workers killed! You can't stop the Vulture Train. Oh. Is he losing? Oh my god. Okay, the Hydras, the Hydras will take these guys out. Um, the difference between Brutal War Vultures and these Vultures is they're a lot more agile. Uh, they move like rains, they run around like rains, except they're really fast. And, but they only have 70 HP uh, to compensate. So you can get a lot more critical mass of your Vultures at a single spot in this game than you can in Brood War, so that's been compensated for. We might get some cool movie shot stuff, maybe. We've been working on it. Oh, Beastie Cutie, are you serious? How do you have this base, Beastie Cutie? How does that even happen? Oh my god, the mines! <laughs> I love these mines! They're so crazy. Ooh! Well, the mines, okay, one goes off. Not too much. Boom, boom, boom. This is all the links to those mines. The Axiom Impact's bank is slowly dwindling at this point. The mech army is just way too efficient. How many, how many units lost, Tab? Yeah, pretty much exactly what you'd expect. Uh, BC, oh my god, he's 47 workers? He's got a supply lead in workers over his opponent at this point. He's just hammered down the drone count of Impact so hard, and Impact, he hasn't been able to keep up now. Big Hydro Count should be able to fight that, as long as he's not fighting within range of that siege chain. What am I seeing? Oh my god, DC cutie, you beast. He's actually coming back from this. I thought if Impact was able to make some moves happen and properly engage his uh, opponent, and just hit him where it was really weak, maybe he can drop or something. Okay, he's still making stuff happen, like, he's not, this is not game over at this point. He's still, Impact still has tons of bases. He's clearing out the fifth on uh, that sixth base that BCQ he really wanted. He's probably being a bit too greedy to try taking. Uh, since he is, he moved all it, oh, his entire mech army to the top left. He wants to deny that. Man, that was a quick reposition of that mech army. Gets those mines up immediately. Ooh. Okay. Ults pretty well, actually. And Dark Swarm goes down, but there's no Lynx in position to capitalize on it. Those Vultures push up a bit, stopping any Lynx from getting under the Dark Swarm. And oh my god, now he's weak to this top left attack. Ooh, good position with those Lynx. Nice flank with those Lynx over there. Uh, chipping apart those guys. And Impact's trying to make something happen on the right flank. And at the top left of the map, these, these siege chinks are still going strong. But the defilers clear up the rest of this mech army, and these siege chinks are not long for this world. Oh, the siege chinks were under the dark swarm, that was annoying. Probably for impact. He's still got the siege chink, but he's not going to take down the hatchery, so he's not actually going to get anything done with that siege chink. He got a lot of, he killed a lot of transferring drones. The bottom right, whoa, 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 BC actually pushed up at the bottom right. Now he's uh, sieging up this base. Impact taking the bottom right. Yeah, he really should at this point. He's got the bank to do it. No! He has no bank left! Impact is out of bank! 
Oh man. 47 workers. So, he's, his worker count has stabilized at this point. Uh, especially compared to Beastie. Beastie's gonna be able... Oh, he's, he's probably mined out by now. It's natural, it's main, he's mined out. He's got this base. With some workers falling around repairing him, which is, you know, plague does that to you. Dude, auto repair, man. You have auto repair in this game. It's so annoying to repair an entire cloud of science vessels and brood war. Where you just like right click a button and they get repaired eventually. Ooh, lots of lings. And there are no vultures in play. These siege tanks are gonna be free meal. Oh no. <laughs> Does have a single siege tank at that front flank still alive, but. You know, it's hard to see if it's worth it at that point, because usually it's like, well, links are just so damn cheap. I mean, whatever, I lose some links. But it, he doesn't have bank anymore to be throwing away links and using units costs inefficiently. Uh, if we look at the income tab, he still has a higher, a little bit of higher income, but nothing compared to what it used to be. Now he just doesn't have the huge amounts of macro to just throw stuff, throw waves and waves and waves at his opponent. <laughs> Yeah, take that science vessel. Ah, plague. There's, there's plague, because it's like 30 science vessels. There's, oh, it, he, he got plagued. He got plagued because it's one science vessel. Oh, he's gonna be able to race through this. These. Oh no. Oh, where's the other? Oh, oh god. Oh man. Oh, he, oh, that's a, that's a fake out. Okay. It's, it gets a lot of drones irradiated, though. Oh, no. This is called an eraser. It's when you irradiate your own vessels. And then you just walk over drones. That saps the entire... Basically, the entire energy pool of the science vessels. There's, like, three eradiates left or two. Uh, out of the science vessels. They did kill a bunch of overlords. And at this point, you really can't say that, hey, it's, it's, it's worth it to lose all those overlords. He's, he's, he's still got a max supply of 200, so... Eh. At the bare minimum, you will have less erratic to contend with against his defilers and lurkers. Where, at the moment, it seems to be something he really wants. Ah, spines are in a great spot. We'll get rid of those vultures rel with relative ease. And, ah, uh, impacts drone count after that eraser. Dude, oh, this is, okay, I'm gonna check the, the workers killed. Take your bets. How many workers have been killed at this point? Oh! <laughs> just, it, it's absurdly high. I've seen, like, counts that high. Just the fact that it's 150 as opposed to, like, 149. Oh, my God. Just minefields everywhere. Like, I look around the map and I'm like, oh, there's a huge mech army. No. It's just huge, massive swaths of mines on the field. It's kind of tamed down. Both have kind of like both have pent up and built up so much forces, and they just slammed them at each other and slammed them at each other. And now they've they've taken down each other's drone counts and, and worker counts so much, and they've lost so big of armies that it's the armies just aren't that big as they used to be, which is really interesting. It's like a calm after the storm. Go to Filer! Go for the Filer! This is how they move underground with elegance and style. Ah. Being cheeky with an overlord loses the overlord. But at this point, he, he's gonna have a cap on his max. He's gonna have to break again with more overlords. Oh my god. Dude, because Impact has been so cost-efficient with his army at the same time while taking tremendous losses. He's made great use of defiler usage. And his links. Even a, even a handful of li his links have been really effective in a lot of scenarios where he's just taking out tons of tanks with them. Catching units out of position. We've seen that a lot. Okay, his defiler usage, though, is so weird. <laughs> yeah, take that vulture. 75 mineral vulture. Eat that plague Oh no. Oh no. Could this be it? Could this be the death knell of the Zerg? BC Cutie's got this bottom right base on pretty much lockdown. And that is an army that I don't know if Impact can deal with. 
20 links are on the way, more defilers, which works against mech, but you're gonna take losses doing it, and there's so many times puzzle left still. Never managed to clear any of those guys up. Oh man, that's oh this is such a weird small army, like a couple lings, mutas, hydras, like three hydras, four scourge. It's like he hit the F2 button, is like, oh god, I need stuff. Where's anything? Whatever, I'll take whatever. This is Ugh, end of World War II in Germany's just like, you know what, send the young children. We need anything. Oh man, and science festivals have just been kill literally just been killing the overlord count of impact, which is so weird to see Reddy do that. Uh, I think this could be it. Beastie Cutie made a huge impact. <laughs> Takes game number two and with a very annoying strong turtle style and just held.